This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. My name is Harry Tumbuatko. Welcome to the program. What do we know of federalism? Some many months ago, we started featuring all the different forms the government has put for people who are assigned towards federalism. On this program, we, d we decided to feature at least four, if I'm not mistaken, four one-hour solid shows all about federalism. It was called the P-R-R-D-M-E-R-C-C, -E if I'm not mistaken. Those are the, that was the acronym, but basically it was all about the proposed federalism and its details. But interestingly enough, where is it going? It is already <coughs> mid-September, and by October, proposals should have been submitted to Congress to be able to start discussing the issues. But where are we? Congress is very busy with impeachments, with investigations. Oh my gosh, not necessarily to mention the budget which includes the tax reform bill, which is actually nowhere. So are we going ahead with federalism, or did we, w did we waste our time talking about it? Interestingly enough, we have a president who is mostly very, very popular, who has the political will. In fact, it's ironic that it is he, the very president, who seems to enjoy all this popularity and authority with government, who is pushing to decentralize the power of the presidency much less give more power to the federal states. Where exactly, other than discussing federalism, where exactly is it going? With us, we have the spokesperson of uh, the, fe the people in charge of federalism, the MERCC, -E is that correct? We have Bobby Brillantes. Hi, Bobby, thank you very much for being Hi, here. Thank you, Harry, and uh, salamat ulit. Oh, uh, Bobby, yes. M R R D M R R D M R R D N E C C yes. M R R D. Okay, we've got a problem. Samba talaga tayo sa federalism. Because ikaw, I know you, you've been putting all your time. <coughs> I've been reading up on yeah. you on, on the press releases where it's all going. Hindi ka ba na frustrate? Because mag-October na in two weeks. Hindi <laughs> naman. In fact, uh, we're practically all over the country, uh, especially in uh, Visayas and Mindanao because we get a lot of invitations to discuss uh, the issues to uh, discuss the issues up to the uh, almost remote areas and uh, we are surprised about uh, the enthusiasm of the people in the provinces that uh, federalism is uh, being pursued by uh, organizations like uh, MRRD and ECC and other uh, Duterte support groups. Mm -hmm. And the president himself never stops talking about it. That's the irony of it, Bobby. Just last week, again, he brought it up in the middle of all the different issues coming out. Mm -hmm. You've got Trili Ling, you've got uh, Napoles hopefully coming out very soon. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, the son, or yeah, the son getting involved in this fictitious uh, whatever importation of drugs. Mm -hmm. um, Ano nangyayari? Ba't ganun, no? And yet, it's the president who says we have to go towards federalism. Hindi, ma hindi maayos ang Bangsamoro mm -hmm. problem na yan sa Mindanao. Mm -hmm. And yet, where is that going? Parang, parang may resistance ang Congress. Mm -hmm. it, the enthusiasm from his cabinet seems to be left wanting. Di ba? And all people designated to the many agencies and departments of government, parang tahimik lang sila dyan. Parang ayaw nila eh. <laughs> Don't you feel the same thing? 
uh, well hindi naman I think uh, they are busy in the respective areas of responsibility but the most important thing is uh, the people are ready to, for a change and uh, provincial and regional leaders are also prepared and uh, the president continues to, to push ang medyo mabagal lang ay ang kongreso uh, as a matter of fact uh, despite the presidential pronouncements even during the sauna the leaders of congress should have taken the cue you're talking Alvarez the speaker yeah, of the yes, house uh, the senate president uh. Coco Pimentel and uh, uh, speaker uh, Pantaleon mm. Alvarez should uh, take the cue that mm. uh, for the president this is an unwritten priority bill so it was a promise during the elections yes uh, as a matter of fact uh, the filipino people voted for duterte because uh, mm. he wanted change and he was talking about federalism before he even talked of corruption you have to remember and illegal drugs oh, while, no, we, no, no, no. while we were still convincing him to run for president uh, he was going around talking about federalism mm -hmm. and uh, second about corruption and mm -hmm. the illegal drugs yes Federalism was uh, at the forefront of his advocacy. Mm. So, dapat our uh, congressional leaders should also bear this in mind mm. that the mandate of the president was to establish change. Do you think the speaker and Coco Pimentel are both doing this purposely to deflect, to put in the back burner, so to speak? I, I know they didn't start the impeachment. Yeah, yeah. Our good friend Dante Menes did a lot of that. But in spite of all of that, <coughs> parang deliberate eh. Hindi kaya, hindi naman. <laughs> I, I, I don't think so naman because uh, for one, the Senate President uh, Coco Pimentel is the, the leader and president of uh, PDP Laban. And the party from the beginning, the advocacy of the PDP is federalism. Is federalism. Nini uh, Pimentel, the uh, father. Oh, I, wa I was part of the organizing uh, uh, of the old uh, PDP Laban uh, during uh, martial law and the Marcos dictatorship. Mm. Federalism was already at the forefront of our advocacy. Mm. So I, I, I don't think uh, Senate President Coco Pimentel would uh, deliberately move oh, it. Oh, uh, in fact, Probably his uh, problem is convincing his fellow senators to to get enough uh, majority votes mm. for the passage of this uh, bill. And for uh, Speaker Alvarez, he was made Secretary General of the PDP Laban mm. because uh, of uh, the pursuit of federalism as a uh, medium of change for the Duterte administration. All of this uh, anti-corruption, anti-illegal drugs, and their organization of government. Secondary stream, Latin, you know, streamli no? uh, streamlining of the uh, government uh. bureaucracies will not happen unless we have federalism and a new setup of government. But at the rate it's going, Bobby, not to discourage you, but with multiple impeachments, uh, the budget to be tackled uh, as of to date, uh, even the uh, tax reform bill, <coughs> uh, is held in abeyance. Uh, it seems uh, the agenda, the plate is full of Congress until year end. I mm. doubt that, because the impeachment, gano katagal yan, mahina six months dyan, eh. And the attention yeah. of the country is going to be into that. Yeah, and yeah, remember, yeah. Um, the guy in the Comelec refuses to resign, so mukhang matutuli impeachment. <laughs> and Sereno is going to fight it out, yeah. or else he loses 18 years yeah. of occupancy, di ba, as the Supreme Court uh, Chief yeah. Justice. So, mukhang lalaban yan. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, ang mangyayari niyan, we will get bogged down. So, the country is laid back because of two people who are undesirable, who, are, who is, refuses to come down, and they're going to take the time of our progress. Di ba? Parang ganun eh. Yun ang base ko lang. Ano? Yeah, that's why uh, in the MRRD, NACC, uh, we are urging our uh, provincial leaders to put pressure upon the legislators. Mm -hmm. Because uh, sooner or later, these legislators will go back to elections. 
and and, <laughs> and, and next year uh, and then the electorates will 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 ask them oh, what happened to to the promised uh, federalism bakit hindi niyo pin prioritize that is why we have to apply pressure upon the uh, house of representatives and the senators but Bobby, to to prioritize the the bill on constitutional amendment that could pave the way for uh, federalism uh, not to be cynical but when do our congressmen and senators read letters coming from the people? I mean, they're supposed to serve the people, but it seems the people are serving them once they get into position. Yeah. Parang gano'n nangyayari. Kaya Alam mo, na. itong mga senator natin, tsaka mga congressman, na, nakikita mo, kanya-kanyang lakad, kanya-kanyang takipan. Yeah. You know, it's a brotherhood in the Senate. And, I mean, look at Trillianas, who's been out of line so many times. Mm. Ngayon lang siya may ethics committee. Mm. Di ba, parang gano'n, the ethics yeah. complaint. Ang Congress naman, <coughs> between they themselves, sila sila nag -aawin. mga magalyado. Tignan mo, ta, uh, Tadeco, uh, si uh, Tony Boy Florendo, and uh, what's his name, the Speaker Alvarez. Mm -hmm. Ang dami nangyayari. Parang, are they a circus of clowns still performing for the audience when they have already been elected? Parang ganun, ano ba? I, mean, I, I feel your frustration. Because I know of your passion towards federalism. Hindi lang last year when you uh -oh. you you helped the president become the president. Mm -hmm. But even before that, as you Ay said, oh. then 20 years ago with Nene Pimentel pa. Yes, and yes. in fact, Nene Pimentel just released an article recently of urging the president to make a priority bill. Uy, pag-usapan na federalism. Yeah, oh. Parang ganun. In fact, ang dami talaga dapat uh, gawin. Not only that, we have to urge our uh, legislators to prioritize the uh, constitutional amendment for federalism. But we also need to educate our, uh, our voters. The COMELEC is not doing anything about uh, improving the level of, uh, of uh, education or uh, information on how to become a responsible voter. voter. Uh, they have a mandate to conduct a uh, responsible voting uh, workshops, seminars, and campaign. But the Comelec itself is in trouble with their chief commissioner uh -oh. uh, being pushed out of office, who refuses uh, to be pushed out in mm -hmm. spite of the glaring evidence of his corruption. Kaya nga tayo na lang yan, taumbayan, the, the political movements, political parties, mm. uh, should uh, be educating and... Uh, Enhancing the, the knowledge of the But people. even in media, bakit kaya? Even the presses, the major dailies, the editors, uh, the editorialists, they don't seem to bring it up on a regular basis. Parang hindi prioritize, no? Uh, all the news is all about what hits the front pages. I guess that's what sells for the owners of the broadsheets. It's all about Kian. It's all about the drugs that were brought in through the customs. There are, uh, there is no, I mean, there's enough, there, there are enough issues to talk about to bring into the public's eye. Mm -hmm. And yet they don't bring it up, federalism being one of them. The, the reform, the tax reform, diba, is another. Uh, the police, maybe, is another, diba? But why? Uh, gee, nowadays, North Korea, diba? Uh, the, it's non-stop. It's non-stop. But, hindi pinag-uusapan federalism. Mukha mas importante pa yung mga kay Kian, yung kay Carlo ngayon, whether he was really gun-totting, di ba? Yung parang ganun. Hindi ko maintindihan eh, ba't ganun nangyayari? Kasi all of these are, are part of the orchestrated campaign to derail what the President wanted to achieve in so a the so people, short time. Considering uh, with the popular president, dinidrail yeah. nila si Duterte, uh, sira ba ulo nila? <laughs> <laughs> Ang popularity nga, Miski anong gawin mo, hindi bumababa ng uh, 90% approval ni Presidente. Tapos gagano ni Nila. Kaya uh, are they testing the patience of the President? <laughs> parang parang gano'n na nga. But uh, what you can appreciate about the President is that uh, he is consistent. Regardless of all these tumbling blocks and uh, the mud being thrown, not just against him but uh, to the entire family, so it does not really bother him. The more the more he is uh, criticized, the more he gets determined to pursue uh, mm -hmm. what he wants uh, to do. Kaya nga, uh, dapat yung mga nakapaligid sa kanya, na cabinet members and uh, legislators who are uh, his allies, 
should be more emboldened. Uh, Maybe it's time for them to resign <laughs> or mag reshuffle sa cabinet uh, uh, eh, or even the speaker. Yeah, dapat kasi uh, they should be speaking in unison, no? Agree. Uh, because they're uh, the lieutenants of the oh, president. Oh, you, you agree on the objectives and then uh, you follow well, through. You 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 do everything to achieve that objective and if there is uh, anything that bothers or uh, that uh, blocks in the achieving of that uh, objective, dapat hindi nila gagawin. Nakapokus dapat yun. Kung mm. sa, sa private management, uh, sa corporate management, siyempre, we believe in uh, management by objectives. Anything that you have to do that will achieve the, the objective, you do it. Anything that, uh, does nothing to, that has nothing to do with the achievement of that objective, might as well not just do it or, or, or mag-relax ka lang. Ngayon nakikita natin ang Congress. Congress is doing so many things that does not uh, contribute to the achievement of uh, mm -hmm. uh, the objective like uh, pursuing change. You cannot, you cannot pursue change by, by investigating here and there. We have institutions like the NBI who, who, who can very well with competence uh, investigate murder. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, so, like uh, the Arnaiz and the uh, Kian yeah. de los Santos, that might uh, as well be one handled by the NBI. Even the BOC, NBI uh, yeah. dapat. Oh, uh, NBI dapat, yung sa Bureau of Customs uh. and the Department of Justice. Correct. The, the, the Congress should focus on legislation after all they are should mandated. Should they resign then since they are not following, carrying through the objectives and the priorities of the President? The, should you think they just resign? Because even if they have the mandate, they're not doing it anyway. You know, some senators and some congressmen should be careful now because the people are being agitated. Uh, they, 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 the, the president is so popular that whatever the president does, there is a popular support. Correct. So when, when the people uh, get fed up with uh, what Congress is doing, Eh, baka sumabog na lang yan. Hindi uh, na sila ma, hindi eh, na sila ma-elect next year. Uh, not not, not only that. What if there is a public clamor for a revolutionary government? Uh, De ba? Uh, after all, it's not uh, far off. Uh. After after all, uh, our constitution is very clear that the people, the, the power resides in the people. If it's the people themselves calling for a revolutionary government, the president cannot do anything but to follow. Otherwise. He himself will be removed from office if he does not follow the will of the people. Mm. Interestingly enough, he has given that thought. He's opened his mind. He's opened his mouth about it. He's mm. rationalized it for for to go, and it's the right thing to do. But he's saying he really would not like to do it. That's yeah. the funny part. Because uh, the, the the mandate of, of the people to him is to effect change, and uh, if. Uh, Congress is tying his hands to effect change, then the people might just rise and say, hey, kailangan namin kumilos na. Kung hindi nyo magawa yung pagbabago, kami na ang tutulong sa presidente bilang mga uh, kaagapay niya sa pagbabago. That's true. We're going to have to take a short break, Bobby. Ladies and gentlemen, it's ironic again, if not if I'm being more cynical, where the power really rests with the people. The problem is those that they man get given a mandate to the local representatives, even the senators, who have no real constituency, that's the sad part, uh, are actually the ones blocking progress, or what we call federalism. Now, there is, unless there's institutional change and in the system, there is no way you're going to resolve the fighting, the infighting in, in, in the now. I mean, if you want to let go of martial law, literally, and let go of all this shooting, killing, murder, and in, you know, almost like a civil war in Mindanao. The only effective uh, way, the only alternative would be a federal government allowing some type of uh, independent authority for the provinces. Uh, when we come back, we'll discuss the other uh, initiated open mouth policies of some people. For example, Bongbong Marcos on his newest points on federalism. And of course, you've got the Trilly Links around there that who are against anything and everything that uh, the president will say anyway. So stay with us, we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 